All right, Reddit. Uh, our model railroads. I have here two Broadway Limited steam locomotives. They are both T1s, Chesapeake, Ohio. We have the 9353 is a original QSI uh, equipped locomotive I got back in 2004. And the 9357 here is a Paragon 2 locomotive. So let us fire up the 9353 first. Stand by one moment. So, yeah, keep in mind this is about 13 years old. Injector, start up, turn on the headlight. Should hear the generator start up here in a moment. Doesn't want to. Uh, bell. Whistle. With the whistle quill. I love that. Something else to draw your attention to is that you cannot see it unless I turn out the lights, but that'll mess with the lighting. But there is a firebox flicker LED in here, and the number boards, which I have not decaled yet, do light up. All right, come over to the 9357. Go ahead and start her up. She has more idling sounds, so this 9357 is a Paragon 2 locomotive. So there's the air pumps going away. Here's her whistle. If you agree with me, but if you see what I mean when I said that I kind of like the original pair, the original QSI whistle better. Uh, bell. And let me go make sure that her dynamo is actually turned on. Alright, on that you can hear the dynamo actually fire up. Now I have not checked, but I do not see a flickering firebox LED on this particular locomotive. And also, while I have gone ahead and put the decals on the number boards on her, you can see they're not lit up. The other one you kind of sort of see they're barely lit up. Not so. So, there is the difference between the sounds of the two locomotives. Once again, we have a... QSI original Gen 1 T1 2104 and a Paragon 2 2104. Uh, and as I mentioned in my post, not too terribly thrilled with the whistle. Yeah. Uh, have yet to try a Paragon 3. Uh, might take the chip out of this one and put a Paragon 3 in it. Uh, now, of course, this does have the chuffing smoke, but that is not turned on right now, so I don't smell up my condominium. There you go. I hope that's helpful to you.